So softball announced dead baseball in Adrian. The boys in the regional finals against Jackson Lumen Christie. Bobcats start up early. Top of the first. Luke Razor up the middle. Seeing eye single. In comes Brenton Masters from second. Starting a long day of baseball on the right foot. They stretch the lead to 4-1 by the sixth. Logan Tamarine gets it right back to Nate Stevens. Over to Jake Giesegi. He puts the finishing touches on an inning-ending double play. Might as well get a little more insurance, right? Razor, the senior, finishes this game how he started. RBI single, scores Shea Ruddy this time. Whiteford locks down the region 5-2. They are moving on to the state quarterfinals. Playing two today. The team to beat now is Bridgman. They triumph over Grass Lake this morning. Something's got to give. 0-0, top of the sixth. Nate Stevens breaks the goose eggs. Popped in a right field. Pair of Bobcats make their way home. 2-0. Why stop there? Later in the inning, Ryan Ruddy drops down a bunt. Alec Nakarta can't make the play. Razor rolling home. Make it 3-0 Whiteford. Bobcats run into some trouble in the home half of the sixth, though. The gap cut to 3-2. It's Riley Close's turn at the plate. Dropped in a right center. Charlie Pagel heads home. Quickly tied again. 3-3. Both teams shine in the sixth. They keep it quiet for a little while after that, though not in the stands. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. Right to Tamarine to end the inning. On an extra lawn day, they need extra innings. Bottom of the ninth. Nakarta finally breaks through, roped into center field. That's enough for the Bees to secure the walk-off dub. 4-3, the final and nine. A tremendous season for the Bobcats. Coach Terry Pant not letting any heads hang on the way off the diamond. You know, it's like I told the seniors, disappointing. I, I, we had our chances there. We didn't, we didn't uh, capitalize when we needed to. Um, battled all day though, and you know, it's like I told the seniors. when. All the guys we lost here, at the beginning of the year, we did not expect to be here. So, you know, there's nothing to hang our heads over. It was a great season. They put in a lot of work, they improved, and, you know, we just got to build from this. And this, the seniors, just their leadership this year was great. Wanting, you know, wanting to come in in the tough spots and, and getting us out of there. I, th I thought we had a great day today. I don't think there's anything to hang our head over. It's another rebuild year. You know, this year they had us down as a rebuild year and just to come out this far, um, you know, it was surprising. And uh, so proud of these guys, proud of the seniors, you know, Luke Razor, Shea Ruddy, Jake and Aiden, um, you know, good luck. Good luck in college, good luck with anything that they're doing. You know, I just got to go out and have fun. So, Like I said, we got, we got some good leadership in that sophomore and juniors this year that'll be, you know, juniors and seniors next year. And, you know, we're getting our top pitchers back again next year. So, I, like I said, I only expect to build on this, and I think they do too.